We know developers don't like standing still and want access to the latest and greatest features in the tools they use, and that includes programming languages. With Android Studio 3.0, we're not only shipping Kotlin as an official new language for Android, but we're also making life easier for those of you who prefer to code in Java by introducing support for Java 8 language features in the default toolchain. Starting with the Android Gradle plugin version 3, you can freely use lambdas, method references, default and static interface methods, try with resources and repeating annotations on all Android API levels. If you previously switched to using the experimental Jack compiler to be able to use these features, please note that there are now many benefits when using the default toolchain. Jack offered more restricted Java 8 support that worked only for API 24 and above. It wasn't as fast when compiling code, and it created problems for developers using tools that depend on the class format. That's why we deprecated Jack and will no longer support it in Android Studio and tools. The good news is that switching back is very simple. Just delete these lines from your build file. If you're using one of the popular third-party solutions for Java 8 language features, you might find that they lack some of the functionality of the default toolchain, such as being able to seamlessly process libraries that use Java 8 code. If you want to make the switch, you'll have to remove Retro Lambda or DexGuard from your build. Otherwise, the built-in support will remain disabled. Other than that, make sure you have the following lines in Build Gradle, and that you're using at least Android Gradle plugin version 3. For important plugin migration instructions, refer to our other video or the documentation linked in the description. So now that you have everything set up, what can you actually do with the new features? Lambdas are a really nice shorthand notation for implementing functional interfaces, or in other words, interfaces that have only one abstract method. Many times when you pass a runnable or a listener to another method, you need all this boilerplate just to run a few lines of code, when all you could write is this. Android Studio lets you easily convert between lambdas and anonymous classes, so you can learn the syntax quickly. With method references, you can sometimes even avoid creating a lambda by directly passing a method with a correct signature as a parameter. Use the double column syntax like this. If you want to put utility methods in your interfaces, you can now do it with a static keyword. Moreover, you can have methods with default implementations that will not require you to change any subclasses when you add them to the base interface. Try with resources is a great way to deal with closable resources, such as files. Previously, you had to be extra careful to catch exceptions and close any open streams in a finally block. Now, when you declare a resource in that try block opening statement, it will be automatically cleaned up for you after that block exits. The new language features are provided by transforming bytecode into a representation compatible with older platforms, a step which we call the sugaring. This is not a backport of Java 8 packages, and as such, main SDK restrictions still apply for using newer APIs, like Java Lang Stream, in your code. One last thing, as part of our continuing investment into the toolchain, with Android Studio 3, we're introducing a new Dexer called D8 that is available for you to preview. Add this line in your Gradle properties file, and the build process will use D8 for converting class files to DEX bytecode. In our tests, D8 compiles faster and produces smaller files and can even improve runtime performance. As an app developer, you shouldn't have to make any changes to your usual workflow when using D8. However, tool developers need to be aware that D8 moves the desugar step after any custom bytecode transforms. As such, your transformation tools might begin to see Java 8 bytecodes when using D8 and have to be made compatible. So have fun writing more expressive code, and please let us know on the bug tracker if you run into any issues when trying the new Dexer. And check out the other videos about Android Studio 3.0 features.